my name is Marisa Stone with Simon Says Social and the Systems Lounge, and I want to welcome you today to the 2017 Business Systems Virtual Summit, where we are talking all about, and you get access to all of the tools and systems that our speakers use to get things done. And I'm super, super stoked today to have yes. Ashley K. Alimo here to talk with us all about rocking your videos with confidence Got it. I'm super excited about because that is so so important today to really show up and get yourself out there so let me tell you a little bit about Ashley Ashley is a video marketing and on-camera confidence coach she helps female entrepreneurs make a really powerful impact on their audience with rocking videos and captivating online presence or on-camera presence which is really, really important these days. With over 15 years in the entertainment industry, plus experience in social media marketing and education, she has worked with women from all fields and niches to overcome their fears of being visible and guides them in this step-by-step -step process so that they can learn how to be that video rock star that they're meant to be. And today, Ashley is going to help you rock your videos with confidence as well. Ashley, welcome to the 2017 Business Systems Virtual Summit. Hi there, Marisa. I'm so glad to be here. I am so excited to have you. So this is a topic that is near and dear to my heart. I... I, can't even, I cannot even tell you how many times I talk to my clients about getting on video. So guys, this is your session. Stick around. Let's do this. So Ashley, what does it mean to rock our videos with confidence? Um, that's a great question straight out of the gate. So this is awesome. <laughs> so I talk to whether it be my clients, fellow entrepreneurs, uh, business besties, biz besties, or anybody who is interested in social media marketing or video marketing, I call them rock stars. And they're like, okay, that is so corny. Well, first of all, that's <laughs> to my heart because I have been in uh, into live music uh, for years. I don't even know how long I can, um, going back. I was um, a singer in bands in Western New York for probably over 10 years. And so Rockstar is just like, like I said, near and dear to my heart. It's a part um, of you. <laughs> exactly. So Rockstar, that doesn't mean you're wielding a fender or anything like that. Oh, come but on. <laughs> you can if you want. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you do. <laughs> it really means... Um, you know, we're, we're splitting up the word rock star. So being a rock star to me in your niche is you're being a rock in your industry, which means you are a constant source of information. Yeah. So what, whatever industry you're in, whatever niche you are in, you want to be that constant rock. And just as it sounds like, you want to be the star. <laughs> you want to be a rising star, guiding your target audience, your followers, Anyone that want, that is following you and you're spreading your message to, you want to guide them throughout the way. So when I say rock star, yeah, it means rock star, but it also means that you are that constant in your industry and you have to own it. So rocking your videos means being that rock star and knowing you're that rock star and jumping in front of the camera and not being afraid. I love that. And I love the way you broke rock star down. So it takes away kind of that crazy connotation that's not really going to relate to people, but really breaks it down in you being the one that's bringing that content and you being the one that's stepping forward and saying, Hey guys, I've got this and I can help you. So I love got that. This. I love that. You got this ladies. You got this rock stars. You got this. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about why entrepreneurs should truly be concerned with confidence on video. Well, Number one, it's a trust factor. So we spent so much time behind the computer screen, right? And so we can be whoever we want behind this computer screen, right? So now that the rise of video marketing is hitting us all like a map truck, we're all scrambling. You know, the ones that 
are possibly identifying with being introverts. Mm -hmm. um, they, they need to get out there and because the audience needs to trust you mm -hmm. and being confident is a, a reason that they're going to trust you. Right. So you want to kind of put yourself out there and show that you know what you're talking about. You are owning your industry. You are that leader in the industry. So being confident in that is going to make someone trust you, which is going to lead to more followers. It's going to lead to more conversions. It's going to lead to, lead to more leads. So that's the number one. Yeah. So the second thing is confidence is like a natural remedy for things like imposter syndrome mm -hmm. um, and the pesky analysis paralysis. So having that confidence within yourself that you know what you're talking about. And first of all, if you don't know, imposter syndrome is when you are afraid that people are going to view you as uh, possibly a phony. Yeah. or fake, or you don't know what you're talking about. Right. And analysis paralysis is exactly what it sounds like. You are analyzing yourself. You are so in your head that you are paralyzed with fear. Yeah. Confidence is a natural remedy for that. They should, they should pill it up and they should say, <laughs> <laughs> here, here's a prescription for confidence. You know, it's, yeah. that's awesome. So having that confidence, is just, it's just, it, it is a natural remedy to get those pesky, um, and those pesky fears and those pesky uh, imposter syndrome and analysis paralysis, get it out of the way so you can rock it. Yeah. And that's, oh my gosh, that's so important for anybody who's really trying to put themselves out there. So, you know, I always tell my clients that you know more than you think. <laughs> Not feeling like you've got to take one more course or do one more thing and take one more lesson. You got this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if I'm the type of person that just absolutely freaks out and freezes on camera, why in the world do I do that and what can I do about it? So you're asking me why, why you are freezing. Yeah. I'm going to ask you why you're freezing. <laughs> Right? So that is one of my modules and let's get visible, rock your social videos. Yeah. So I dig deep because, you know, it's, I feel like a, maybe like a therapist, you know, talking to <laughs> Look down your glasses but, at us. It's, exactly. So I do, you know, with my, my, my clipboard, but you know, I'm going to ask you why, because you're admitting that you have this fear but you know, it's one thing to admit it, but though it's another thing to explore why. So is it that you're possibly not clear on your objective of the video? Mm -hmm. Are you nervous about the way you look? Are you nervous about the gear? Are you, why is it that you're so scared and how are you gonna take action? Are you going to enroll in a course? Are you going to find YouTube videos? How are you going to do that? You need to find a way to solve this fear. Right. You're not freezing because of the camera. It's not an ice blaster. It's not freezing. Right. Right? right. So you need to find out what that fear is and you need to kick it to the curb. And how are you going to kick it to the curb? Wearing a high heel. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're, you need to kick it to the curb and figure out how you are going to take action to yeah. stop this fear. Yeah, I can totally see that. I, I remember when I first started eons ago in public speaking, I was terrified, right? Terrified. This was, I'm going to age myself. This was like way before you had a camera on your phone that you could just do a video real quick, right? You would stand up on stage and you would deliver whatever your talk was, or you would deliver, you know, I'm in, you know, been in academia for years, so deliver your research or whatever the case may be. And I was terrified. And finally, I started changing my own mindset with it and I started thinking about delivering whatever it was I'm talking about as if it were just simply information transfer mm -hmm. actually needs something that I have let me share that with her so she can go about her day and get on with her life and maybe take some nuggets that I've shared with her and accomplish her goals and so sometimes it's simply a mindset thing Absolutely. So use that and play tricks on yourself to be able to do it more and more. And Ashley, what did you say after you've done it several times? It kind of becomes old hat. Oh gosh. Yeah. And you know what? The one thing you do have to realize, and I don't mean for this, I don't want it to sound rude, but you got to get over yourself because you're not doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for you. You're doing it for your audience. Yes. Yes. So that's the one thing that you do have to remember. Yeah, I totally agree with that. This isn't about you anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're giving this information. You already know that information, girl. You don't need to convince yourself, you know? So you're doing this for you. Right, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So I've read somewhere that you should work to find your calm before jumping on camera. What are your thoughts about that? Ooh, my favorite thing to do is analogies of first <laughs> dates. Of first date, right? Right. So you walk in. Um, I remember, uh, you know, going on a first date, and I would be so nervous. Right. And I'd be so nervous, and so I would sit in, and, and I, I've never even told my boyfriend this. So. <laughs> I would sit in the car and I would just do some, you know, deep breathing and everything because if I would have went in there, I would have been shaking yeah. like this and I would have been, you know, not looking someone in the eye or, you know, or him in the eye or anything. Do you really think he's going to want to hang out with me again? Probably not. Really? So think of, think, of that, think of that. If you're not calm before you press that record button, are people really going to want to return to you know, to go on that second date or watch that second video or invest in you as a coach or, you know, an informational source, what have you. So finding your calm and just relax, Rockstar. I mean, it's really, it's not that big of a deal, you know? Mm -hmm. So just finding that calm, deep breathing, it, clear your mind, meditate, you know, whatever you want to do, take a bubble bath. I don't know, whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. just find your calm because you want those people to come back. You want those people to like you. You right. want those people to love you, you know, just uh, like a first date. So, keep, you know, keep that in mind. And yeah. so you want them to feel comfortable. You absolutely do. Kind of like you're sitting there at a coffee date. You, right. want, you know, you want them to feel comfortable. Yeah, that Start totally to makes feel. sense. Start so another thing that I've read is that the camera absolutely drains you. So while we're talking about finding our calm, there's also a certain level of energy you have to bring to the table in order to keep people's attention and keep the conversation going and keep it light and fun. How do you find balance between the two of those? I will tell you that one thing that absolutely zaps your energy is talking too fast. Yes. And it does. And it's not something you think would be um, something that just like drains you, but your adrenaline, it's your heart is pumping. You're talking fast. You're not catching your breath. Your brain needs the oxygen. <laughs> Be generous with this oxygen. And I know it, it may not even be nerves. It might be excitement. Yeah. Like you are, you know, going full speed ahead with your thoughts in your mouth. And then all of a sudden your body's like <gasps> trying to keep, and then you start like deflating a little bit. Right. right. Just slowing down, taking those deep breaths, you know, just, just chilling out, you know, it's just not so much like, uh, like talking like this, but just right. keep it, keep it constant. Don't, don't blow all your energy in the first three, you know, what, first minute, you know, and keep it constant and just, um, you know, keep that energy, just keep, you know, keep them, go, you know, keep going. So Thank you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you. That's a good way to say it. Do you suggest that people kind of practice kind of their little, I don't know, parts of their script or speech before they go on? to help them slow down? That's actually a good point. So um, yes, I do to an extent. So you don't want to write a script and read it word for word. No. You will sound like a robot and it'll be a snooze fast and it's just not gonna work. Right. So what I do with my clients is we do have a con uh, content guidelines yeah. where I say, okay, um, and, and this get, you know, gets a little involved, but here's part, one, part two, part three, and what you should be discussing. Right. Write it all out, you know, pour your heart and soul, brain dump it. I, I don't care. Just just get it out on paper. Yep. yep. Say it out loud. Chances are what you wrote is not the way you would naturally speak it. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So read through it and you're going to be like, Oh, I don't really, you know, that, that doesn't really flow off my tongue or, you right. know, actually, hey, I really don't, I don't, you know, I don't really like the way that sounds. Okay. Well, Put it away. Right. Put it away, tell me, and then tell me what's on the paper. Mm -hmm. And then go from there. Just step away from that brain dump, that script, and see what naturally comes out of your mouth. Do mm -hmm. it, you know, whatever you feel comfortable. A week beforehand, you know, um, however you feel comfortable, find your own rhythm. And um, once you start getting into the groove of the video, you'll be able to be a little bit more quicker with it. Right. But always, I think you should always have some sort of guideline, bullet points, 
Listen, the, no one's giving out awards for the you know video marketer that can shoot for the from the hip the best, right? <laughs> I mean, I have bullet points right here. I'm not gonna <laughs> right, not gonna lie. right, right. Anything your audience is gonna feel you know touched that you prepared yourself, yeah. but. I would say that it should be bullet points. It should not be word for word. Okay. Yeah, that totally makes sense. And it's going to help you calm down. It's going to help you keep that, again, even keeled energy and, uh, and things like that. Yeah, that totally makes sense. So one of the things that you work with your clients on is something you call fear, gear, and the mirror. Mm-hmm. What is this? And how is that something that I can integrate that will work for me? Oh my gosh, I love, I mean, I've, I've heard uh, fear, fear the Gear before, and I had to throw a mirror in there, because I love rhyming, I mean, right. just, I had, I'm like, what else drives that mirror, right? Yep. <laughs> fear is kind of what we talked about, is asking that question, why? So it, it's more the internal thing. Why are you so scared about being on camera? So we talked about that, remember? Yep. So, uh, is it the way, um, is it that you don't know your objective, you don't know what to say, um, and so forth? Right. So the next step is the gear. Oh my gosh, this is probably the least thing that you need to worry about. Because if MacGyver can break out of jail with a toothpick, <laughs> a, t- a toothpick and a battery and, and a know, piece of floss. A piece of floss. <laughs> I mean, come on. You can, um, you got this. <laughs> you got this, okay? So, uh, I mean, the gear, honestly, you have to stay simple to start off with because really you're focusing on your message. And so if you're focusing on the external, which is this gear, it's just going to overwhelm you. It's going to stress you out and that's going to come across on video. So you've got the fear up here, you've got the gear over here and then the mirror. Now we're talking to women, you know, we're talking to women entrepreneurs here. Right. So uh, the uh, society is telling us we need to look a certain way, that we need to talk a certain way. And, and notice I'm not saying the perfect body. I'm not saying the perfect anything because nothing's nothing's perfect. No. So what um, what you need to do is just really get some self-love out there, you know, self-love in the house, right? So you need to look in the mirror and say the words out loud. I'm beautiful. Blow yourself a kiss for heaven's yeah. sake. I mean, do it right now. You know? Yes, exactly. So, Really feel the self-love because that is going to project into your message. That's going to project out into the world, out into your audience. They're going to feel that love. So, you know, getting rid of that fear. Don't be afraid of the gear and really look in the mirror and say, hey, you're a rock star because that is going to set you up and your videos are going to rock from there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I totally agree with that. Um, One of the coaches that I work with talks about how, you know, when you're designing your vision or designing your life, you actually design it in two stages. The first stage all happens in your head, right? So if you're talking to yourself in the mirror in such a way that you're really exuding self-love, you know, oh my gosh, you're amazing at what you're doing. You have such a powerful message here that you can share today. You know, I love the way your hair looks today. Of course, mine's a mess today. but. <laughs> I think it looks beautiful. <laughs> you, you know, you know what I mean, though, right? Like really getting that out there, you're going to feel it when you're on camera. Your your audience is going to feel it, and that's going to boost you even that much more when you're in that space. So definitely take that opportunity and and talk it through, think it through, and talk it through before you go on. Because I I agree a hundred and ten percent. So I know we are coming to the end of this yeah. interview, and I can't believe it because oh my gosh, this is amazing stuff. But is there anything else that we need to know about rocking our videos with confidence um, at this point? I know we're going to dive much, much deeper into this topic in just a little bit. But where we are now, is there anything else we need to know? Honestly, just be like Nike and just do it. Yes. Just do it. If you sit there and say, oh, I just, you know, really need to get a better camera. I need to do this. I need to get my hair cut. You're never going to do it. You just got to do it. And trust me, I mean, anything in your life, you, you just, you know, don't be afraid there's a benefit to doing video. You see it out there. You're scrolling down your news feed. You're seeing the impact, the powerful impact that these videos are making on industries and niches. So you need to, you know, grab it and you need to go for it. So just do it. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Oh my gosh. I cannot even tell you how many times. And, and honestly, guys, about the first 10 videos that you create, you're going to hate them. 
just go through the process. I tell my clients this all the time. The very first video I did, like it was horrible. Yeah. It was horrible. Yeah. So give yourself that learning curve and just try it out and play with different things. Play with different lighting, play with different outfits, play with different styles, play with all this different stuff. It's a great opportunity to go through your wardrobe and really play up. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Dress up time on steroids because every single video you're changing the outfit. So yeah. take that opportunity and really, really dive into it and enjoy it. Create your first 10 videos. Here's your homework. Create your first 10 videos and get past that point and then really dive into um, finding the love of being on video. You got it. Yes, absolutely. So I know we are at the end of this interview. Ashley, I wanna thank you so much for being here oh, and sharing you. all this amazing information with our audience. How can people reach out to you if they want to email you or ask you questions or take some of your courses or perhaps access some of the resources that you have available? How can they reach out to you? Absolutely. So you have some links um, down below on the page. Yeah, down below. <laughs> there. Um, you can also go to ashleykcoaching.com. You can join my Facebook group where you'll have instant access to me and other entrepreneurs for boosting their online presence with video marketing. So you can go to www.letsgetvisiblecommunity.com and we'll definitely see you there. I am so excited to connect with you guys. and I'm so excited that we got to do this interview. Oh my gosh, me too. Me too. This has been absolutely amazing. And you've shared some really, really important information with the audience today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, if you are part of the All Access Pass, stick around because we are going to dive much, much deeper with Ashley in just a few minutes. In the meantime, click on the links below, reach out to her, take some of what she said here today and start applying it to your own marketing processes and get that system up and running for yourself because video is absolutely the wave of our future. And if you do not get on board with it, I promise you will be left behind. And we don't want anybody left behind. We want you coming no with way. us. You gotta so do that. Definitely take advantage of that stuff. For those of you that are part of the All Access Pass, stick around. We're gonna be coming back in just a few minutes. For those of you that aren't, thank you so much for being involved in the 2017 Business Systems Virtual Summit. It has been a total pleasure to have you here. We will see you all in the next interview. Bye, everyone. Bye.